Right, we're down here in the field where um, it's a neighbor of ours. We're going to get a bit of straw off him. Uh, he only cut this here yesterday, so um, we're hoping now. I hope you can hear me now because it's very windy here, but um, uh, hopefully, get this bale up there today because uh, there's rain coming tomorrow. So, we could do we draw in a few bales. And uh, when I go back up now, I'll show you. We're going to do a bit of work on our little trailer we have. We're going to put an extension onto it. So, um, uh, at the moment, we can only bring maybe two, four, six, six odd bales. So I'm going to put an extension onto it and uh, hopefully we'll bring 10 bales in so it won't be as bad. But um, yeah, this is the straw here. It's a... Uh, oh, it is... It is a bit... Yeah, it is a bit... No. They won't be bailing that today, I know. It's a bit too damp still. We did have a heavy dew there last night, no worry. But uh, it is windy here today, all right. But the straw itself now is... Uh, She's not fit for bailing yet. She's a bit green actually. Nobody can make that out there. So, doubtful they'll be bailing it today now. So, they're, they're harvesting um, wheat off this here today for feed, I'm presuming. So, yeah, they're in this <clears throat> next field here at the moment. Uh, Cutting away there. But you better see him now over there. There's another thing, he's off over there in the distance. But yeah, I oh know that's. <clears throat> that's very green at the moment, so. They are given, uh, they are given next week to be fairly fine, alright? So, but there is rain coming tomorrow. And uh, maybe get okay, cut today. And uh, probably next week then it's supposed to be a dry week and uh, they get tossed out and hopefully bail up then next week alright but yeah I know it's just still very very green so it is. But then as we go up here and we'll um, work on this trailer and I'll, I'll show you the plan we have for that. Now the plan up here with this um, trailer is to extend the back of it by maybe two feet or so. I'm going to use a bit of um, this two inch box iron. Uh, use a bit of that, that angle. So, at the moment, as I said, it'll only take, um, take about uh, six bales. So, we put an extra couple of feet onto it. Um, we're hoping to get an extra four bales on it. So. Hopefully it'll work out on it. Plus, we make it in a way where we can take it on and take it off, detachable. Attach and detachable. That's not right, attach and detach. So, because we still want to be able to use it for um, clearing uh, dung out of sheds and stuff like that, so. She's a tipping trailer. So yeah, we'll get with that, and the day is fine. Right, the first job we want to do, we want to trail, trail a hole through there. We'll use the mag drill for that and hopefully we can line the tube up somewhere along the line. Right, we have everything cut there now. So that's it now, as you can see it. So we have our cross braces in. This is our angle bits where we're gonna be hooking on to the trailer and our end frame. So nothing to do now, only weld it all up. So there's actually, there's a nice bit of welding in it. 
Um, nice bit of cutting in the two there was. I need to get myself a small bandsaw. Cutting with the grinder all the time is not easy. It's hard to keep them all square and straight and keep the cuts clean and all. So, but anyways, it is what I have, what I have. So, um, yeah, we'll uh, start welding these up. Tack it all up first and uh, we'll probably offer it up to the trailer and then we'll uh, set her up somewhere and we'll just weld away then. Now, I'm just going to show you something now, you might have seen me stop starting over over there. So like this, when you have a gap um, in the box turn, and the box turn is only like a 2 mil, uh, two mil wall thickness, and um, when you're cutting them all with a grinder, you're going to have gaps. That's just the inevitability of it, say. So, stop start is um, very handy for for when you're welding, say a light box or like that. Or another thing you can do, and I'll just get a welding rod and I'll show you this here. <clears throat> so when you have your, I'll get this bit now. When you have your light box or like that, and you start your pool off there, you drag forward and then go back a bit. Drag forward and go back a bit. Drag forward. Try to keep as much heat on this side of the box arm because where it's not cut. So where it's cut is going to be the lightest, it's going to burn away the fastest. So try and keep as much heat as you possibly can there. So either stop start if it's too wide or drag forward and go back on itself. Drag, go back, drag, go back, drag, go back. We'll weld up a few more of these and uh, we might go for dinner then because it's, it's heading that way now anyway.
Right, so that's it now. I have uh, a frame on. Have our lights on. They're only uh, magnetic lights, that's all. But uh, they'll do the job. Now, I didn't get to paint it. Um, I was called away there last week. I couldn't get it finished off, so I now have to go for base this morning because um, the rain is coming there. <clears throat> there later on today or maybe tomorrow, tomorrow morning or something like that they're saying. I think it's coming actually even around uh, five, six doctors. The weather forecaster are saying. So I know some is going to say, why didn't they do 45s there? But as I said, if I had a bandsaw, there'd be no bother. But when you're cutting them with a grinder, it's not as easy. But uh, yeah, no. Had a loot. Right, here we are. Let's see where Clyde is going to park up here now. Lovely job. Right. So we have uh, about 20 odd bales to get here. So I'm hoping now after um, we uh, extend that trailer, we should better bring 10 at a time. Hopefully, anyways. So we'll uh, stick this camera up somewhere, so we'll, we'll keep an eye on Kyle loading for a bit. more drone we get a couple of straps on that then and we bring the first load over right there's the first load strap down so Right, that's the first load now, in. Just come with the last bale there now. Come out over there. And we rock on then for another load. Here's the 
Alvaiz, Alvaiz. Right, we see he's in the field over there. Right, so we're back for another load. As you can see the sky is starting to darken up there. And only the rain is far away. Hey guys, as the rain comes down, I'm going to shoe off here for this week. And uh, Kyle's going to finish off there. So, if you like this old video of ours, please give it a thumbs up, share, throw a comment down below, and look, go on. We'll catch you in the next one, alright? Good luck.